Hey guys, it's Sushix here, and welcome back to the Da Vinci Mod Pack. This is episode 2, and there is so much that has happened since last episode. So the last episode was the first episode, and uh, Zuljan was kind enough to show us around the server, see what's going on, what mods we got, and all of that stuff. Since then, I have been playing on this server non-stop, doing a lot of things. Um, so just like a heads up, this series is going to be moving very fast. There's a lot of things that are going to be changing between episodes, because I'm going to be playing a lot of offline with people and stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, but it's gonna be a lot of fun, and if I didn't already mention, this server is going to be, um, reset, like, every couple of months, and we're gonna put in, like, new mods, we're going to, I mean, start fresh again, and whatever, so, we're gonna, everyone's gonna be, you know, trying to do as much as they can until then, so, yeah, things are gonna be moving very, very fast, I'm going to spend, I mean, I guess the first half of this episode showing you guys what I've done, explaining some of the mods that I've gotten to learn, and, uh, all this good stuff, so, uh, I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just shove some of these ores in there. These will go into my diamond furnace, which currently has an ore processing upgrade. What this does is it allows it uh, to, to you get double the ingots for each uh, ore, except for rosite ore. That one you don't get to double. But let's say I had 20 of this limonite ore, I get uh, 40 ingots, so it's pretty good. I do need to get the better version, because this has um, a finite amount of uses. I think it has like 500 uses or something. Um, but there's an, there's an upgraded one, which uh, allows you... Wait, can I look at it here? Yeah, this. So we actually probably could go and build this today. I mean, I might go and do this today. Let's do it. Um, but yeah, this allows for infinite, so it's going to forever allow you to double your ores. Which is pretty good. I've been using it. It's pretty good. And that all processes into here, where we just get all our ingots. This right here is a multi-page chest. I'm pretty sure I looked at it um, in the first episode, but pretty much it just has five pages. So I've been putting uh, all of my cool stuff here. You know, this is all my ingots, my redstone, my coal, my diamonds. Let's put all these diamonds in there. Got over a stack of diamonds now, yes. Um, redstone. Now this is essences. I'm going to keep those on me because we're going to use them. Um, all these ores we're going to put in the thing. Coal go in there. Coal. Alright, now this chest is pretty much just like the everything chest until we decide that we need it or we need to put it somewhere else. Maybe this slime crystal- nah, we'll just leave that there. Um, over here is my cobblestone um, page. We're gonna put all of that in there. And, um, okay, so this hammer is like my favorite thing in the world. I managed to make- I don't- like, I don't know if you guys know this. I'm not a big fan of Tinker's Construct. Um, but I did learn how to make this hammer. So it's a steel hammer, which I think adds the reinforced bit of it, which means it lasts like ages. Like, I've been using this a ton, and it's barely been used. We also have slimy. I don't know what that means, but apparently it's good. <laughs> and then, because I used uh, the blue slime for the rod. Then we had haste. Now, I added... Oh! Oh! I'm just thinking. I'm just realizing now. I completely... Okay, so um, if we go over here, this is my tool station. This is how you add... Um, uh, different uh, things to it. Uh, modifiers, that's it. So I've added 50 redstone, which gives... The redstone makes it faster, so it adds haste. So we have haste 1, I think, or something, um, just from that. And uh, But the luck, the lapis, if you add enough, la enough lapis, it, uh, it gives you looting and fortune. So, so currently we have looting 2 and fortune 2, which is great, but I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of lapis in here. Yeah, so we're gonna use all of this and we're gonna get more now This is actually kind of a tedious process. I don't know if there's a faster way of doing this But all I know the only way I know how to do this is like going like this just back and forth like this and uh, You know, it's a little bit tedious, but each time you do it It adds one more um, Point in into that thing so once we get up to 450 which we won't get to this episode But I'll probably do it off camera before next episode um, but yeah, this hammer, I love it so much. It's allowed me to do so much mining. Like, I'm easily catching up to everyone else on the server. Um, next we gotta look at, I mean, there's not much to my house. You've probably seen what I've done here, but I'll show you guys where I actually put it. And, uh, and then I'm gonna show you guys all my levels, because I've been going up a lot in levels and doing a lot of stuff with that. Then, I'm gonna show you my mines. And this is, it's, it's crazy. Like, what I've been able to do in the mines, it's, it's too much. I've done so much. Um, but we're gonna keep just doing this. Now, the other guys on the server, they have been going to other dimensions. They've been fighting bosses just before. Um, I know Zul'jin, Brink, and Drax went and fought a, uh, a mob, a giant boss thing. They got some, like, they got some cool stuff. So, we're hopefully gonna be doing that in future episodes, but I'm still not up to their level yet. They've still got a bunch of stuff that I don't have yet, so. Uh, but we're nearly done here and there. Okay, so wait, what is this? What's that? 280 out of 450. Alright, so, uh, wait, did our looting and fortune go down? Wasn't it looting 2 and fortune 2? I'm confused. Oh well, whatever. 
we'll figure it out. Um, okay, next thing I want to do is this. So this thing over here is an ascension shrine. Now it's kind of hard to make, or at least for me, it took me a little bit, because to make it you need, um, where is it? You need these things, rosite ingots. And you can see how much I have of everything else. This is literally all of my rosite ingots. Um, so they're actually kind of rare to find. And you need five of them to make this thing. So right now, I mean, this doesn't do anything like this, but what it does, it allows you to get, if you see on my levels here, right next to the mining one, which is level 30, there's a thing called augury, and that's 23. Now, if I uh, throw uh, some of my charged essences on there, it'll go up a little bit. So you get these charged essences from just mining, uh, they'll randomly drop when you mine stone. So if we're just, I'm just going to put all of these in and put our levels up a little bit. And uh, the higher level you get in mining, the better essences you can get. And then the higher level you get in augury, the better essences you can use. So we can use these ones now. These. Oh wait, what? Whoa! Oh wait, I don't think I'm high enough level to use that. I have a lot of tabs open here, let's see. Omnis, Omnius Essence is level 24, so yeah, we can't actually use that yet to get levels. So I'm just going to put that away. Um, put that in there, and uh, we'll, we'll put these left in there, uranium ore can't be smelted, so we'll go like this, oh no, wait, whoa, no, you're gonna go on the other, you're gonna go on the other page, um, but yeah, we, I've been getting a lot of stuff, like, I think, I'm pretty happy with what's been going on, um, let's just grab all of this, and put it all in there, uh, look at all the stuff we have, alright, so we are now going to, oh god, oh god, what am I doing, okay, um, next, okay, so this is my house, it's not much, it's just this, I mean, I made it quite big because I assume we're going to be putting a lot of stuff in here, and, uh, and, uh, also, oh, my adjustable bag, now, oh, sh damn, I forgot, I, I didn't realize I had all this stuff in here, alright, let's take this all out, but, uh, pretty much what it does, it has this upgrade, which, I mean, it has a few upgrades, one of the upgrades being that it automatically, um, it's like a furnace, it automatically cooks anything that's in it. So that's why there's a lot of um, cobblestone being turned into normal stone, and then if you cook stone in this mod pack, it turns into circus pl uh, circus circuit plates. So we actually have a lot of circuit plates. Um, put that in there. This, this. Oh no, wait, not the cobblestone. Not the cobblestone. Cobblestone goes into here. I really, I think, I'm pretty sure this has the mod that can press that can compress uh, cobblestone. So we're, I'm going to be doing that. I'll set up some machine that can do it because um, we do have a lot. Let's put a, oh my god, I have all this lapis here. Alright, I'm going to do that off camera because I feel like you guys would hate me if I did that now. Um, oh my god, look at all these essences though. Okay, weak essence is not going to make our levels go up much. Can we actually use these to craft better essences? No, you cannot. Um, Alright, we're just going to waste all of these because I really want my augury levels to go up. I mean, I really want all of my levels to go up because I'm, I'm like a sucker for like skills and levels and stuff. Um, which is why when I, I, I... There was a brief moment where I played on a few um, uh, Minecraft servers, probably back before I was doing YouTube, and I really, really liked um, MCMMO, I think that's what it was, where pretty much, you know, just mining or, you know, uh, chopping wood or whatever, you'd get levels in that skill, and I thought it was pretty cool. By the way, we also hit level 27, which means that we can use uh, this baby over here. And we're just gonna go bam, 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 and now it's gonna give us a bunch of experience. We should be able to, ooh, okay, level 28, that's pretty good. Um, but we don't actually get to get any bonuses from that augury thing until level 30 and then it'll put our uh, creation up to level 12, which a creation is Actually, I don't know. It's one of the it's either the purple or the blue thing in the top right I still haven't gotten to using that. So I guess it doesn't matter. I just like getting levels um, Okay, is there anything else left in here? Alright, let's just take all of that away. Yeah, I spent most of this episode just showing you guys I'm, I'm just like super happy with this stuff. Like I really like it so I'm, I'm sorry for showing it off. That marble should not be in there. This book should not be in there. Uh, everything else is fine. Oh wait, there's like, wait, well there's like random, uh, what is this silver ore doing here? You should be smelted. This yellow right ore, you should be smelted. What are you doing? Uh, okay, and that's all good. So let's throw these guys in there. We'll throw you in there. And okay, so, oh wait, uh, there's still more stuff in the adjustable. Just a little thing. Okay, there's not much. All of this stuff can just go like that. Alright, put the cobblestone away. Put the circuit plates away. Mitrillion dust, i got to figure out what this does. i got to figure out how to use this. I'm pretty sure you can turn it into ingots, but I don't know how yet. Um, but anyway, this adjustable bag. So, what is it? I thought I took that out. Um, the reason there's food in here is because it has an upgrade that uh, the player feeding upgrade. It automatically feeds me with the stuff that I put in there. So, I don't have to uh, eat anything. I just put my food in the bag and it automatically does it itself. So that's pretty good. 
Um, it also has the furnace upgrade, as I said, the energy upgrade, which really does nothing by itself, but it allows you to uh, add other upgrades. So um, I needed the energy upgrade before I could add in the furnace upgrade. Um, and also a slot upgrade, just so it has like an extra row of slots. I'll probably add more of those um, at, in the in the future. Um, so, okay, put that there. Uh, I think that's everything I've shown you. I've pretty much cleaned out my inventory. Um, okay, so this is where we are right now. So I decided to build right here. It's like into the wall. It's actually kind of, it's actually kind of disguised. I don't know if anyone's actually found my house yet. It's not that far away from everyone. I'm over here. Um, I think, whose house is that? I think that's Van Hall's house is right next to me up on the hill. Um, Drax and Joe Tato are over here in Drax's house. Non-Sanity's over there probably in his house. Yeah, and this is all the spawn and everything. Um, and all of these black things over here are the portals. So I think there was only three in last episode. Now there's two more. So yeah, um, I think that's all Zuljan and probably uh, Brink or something. I don't, I don't remember who's making the portals. But um, yeah, they're doing a lot of good work. But anyway, yeah, so we're kind of hidden here. Nighttime's hitting us. I don't want I can't be bothered going out. So we're going to stay inside. I'm going to now show you guys my mines. It's going to be really, really cool. All right, so we go down here. And I'm going to show off my hammer as well. Oh my god, I'm so excited to show off my hammer. Okay, so we go down here. Um, this is level like 27. I started clearing this out just because I could. Then now I'm down to clearing out like level 5, trying to get some more diamonds and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I mean, look at this large open space. And this didn't even take me long. Like, this is all pretty, pretty quick stuff. Um, but look, I just go like this. Bam! So we can like really start... Oh god, okay, really start strip mining fast. The one thing about this um, level... <laughs> is this lava around? But uh, that's fine. Okay, so if we, I mean, we just start going in here. Bam, bam. Look, I mean, we're getting a lot of cobblestone. Don't really care about that. We got a diamond there. We're getting actually diamonds now because, um, is there lava here? No? Okay, good. Um, we're getting diamonds because, um, of the, of the, oh god. Oh god, I didn't think it hit me. Oh god, okay. Don't go this way. Don't go this way. A lot of lava coming from the roof. I think I should be fine, hopefully. Mm, maybe. Wait, maybe. I have regen 1 because of all the mining I'm doing, I think. When it says Lux and Twinkles and Approval, that gives me regen 1 every night. So, now that I'm doing a lot more, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, you'll see these random things dropping. Weak essences are dropping, diamonds are dropping, and this is all because of my foraging level, which is pretty much your mining level, is, uh, is getting pretty high. So, you can see it's level 31, that means that, you know, the high level it is, the more things that'll drop, and uh, it's doing pretty well. If I actually scroll down here on the page that I have, so yeah, level 15, it starts dropping diamonds, um, level 25 starts dropping charge essences, level 30 is omnius essences, level 35, it starts dropping ender pearls, so we're going to be starting to get ender pearls soon. Um, but every time something drops, it'll make your level go up more, so that's pretty cool. I mean, the higher level you go up, the better things that drop. And the more often things drop, and then the more often things drop, the more levels you go up. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, so it says here, once you level one, there's a 1.54 chance of things dropping. Level 20, there's a level, uh, there's a 2% chance. Level 40, there's a 2.5. But I mean, every time I mine a block here, I'm mining nine blocks. So there's nine times the chance of something dropping, which is why I'm going up my levels so fast. I mean, two things just dropped then. So there's a 2% chance every stone block that something will drop. And I'm, I'm mining nine stone blocks at a time, so that's 18% chance that like every second something will drop. Because I'm mining like a thing every second. So it's, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm getting up them levels and collecting a lot of good stuff. Um, now let's see my inventory. What I generally like to do, I mean, I'm going to figure out a better system. But right now I'm just putting cobblestone in here. Just because why not. I don't want to put my ores in here because they'll only smelt and give me one ingot. Whereas my better furnace gives me two ingots. Um... Things that don't smelt, I'll just put in here. I mean, that, 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 coal. Oh, wait, coal smelts, doesn't it? Ooh, maybe, yeah, coal smelts into, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Matrillion dust and and diamonds. We'll put all that in there. And uh, we'll just go like this. All right, so yeah, this is how I've just been getting all of my stuff. It's so fast. We're getting so much good stuff. And, I mean, you just go like this, go like this, bam, 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 knock out all the walls. And we create in this large open space. I don't know if I want to do something with this open space in the future. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of possibilities here. I think this entire episode is just, like, catching up on everything that I've done. And you got teaching you guys how a lot of this stuff works. Because I like that. I like, you know, learning how to do something in a mod. And then being able to teach you guys how to do the mod. Um, and hopefully that helps you in the future or something. Also, I don't know if DaVinci, uh, the DaVinci pack that we use is ever going to be made public, um, just because of 
um, all the all the problems we're gonna have in terms of like getting permissions to add them to the mod pack and whatever. You know, when it's a private mod pack, you don't need permission to use it in a mod pack. Um, but when it's public, you need permission. And that means we're gonna have to get permission from every single mod we have. And then anytime we wanna make changes or whatever, we're gonna have to continue to get permissions. Some authors just don't wanna give you permission. Some authors just never apply. It's, it's a big hassle to make things public. So I don't know, I mean, it could be something that we talk about in the future, but for right now, I don't even think, I don't even think it's in discussion, so. Um, that's, that's just to answer people's questions, like, how do we get the mod pack? There is, I mean, I think we are adding a list of the mods somewhere soon, which means you guys could probably just download all the mods and do it yourself. Um, but yeah, there's, there's currently no way to just download it. Oh my god, this is a little bit painful. I like down, I like, um, I like, uh, mining, like, a, a three times three, not this one times one stuff. Or oh, this one times three, sorry. Um, alright, let's just knock all this out. I just, I don't know, it's so fun to just, uh, Doing all this stuff so fast. All right, I should probably show you guys something else. This can probably get a bit boring. I'm the only one having fun right now. Um, okay, let's pick up all the stuff. Yeah, so see, we just got like a bunch of diamonds though. Like we just went down here, we got six diamonds, easy. Didn't even try. Um, put all this cobblestone in there. And you can see the cobblestone is turning into stone then turning into the circuit plates. So that's how that works. Uh, we got a bunch of these essences as well to make our augury spell, uh, augury, augury spell. Augury levels go up, I'm lost. We came here, and I think we went down here. Uh, oh god, I'm really lost. Okay, this is the one thing. Oh wait, I wonder if I can, um, the fog. I wonder if I can get rid of the fog. Wait, particles all. Wait, why have I got particles min- Oh wait, oh god, that's why I had the particles on minimal. Alright, uh, yeah, let's put that back to minimal. <laughs> and, um, render distance, I mean, I don't know if that'll do anything. I want to get rid of the fog. It's annoying me. Um, uh, that's fine. I think that's something, I think I need to install Optifine and do that. Alright, so we're gonna head up here. Now, who's online? Drax, Brink, uh, Jotato, and Nonsanity. Alright, so these are all people that I could probably end up doing, you know, an episode with in the future. I'd like to do an episode with everyone on here, at least once. I did want to do my second and probably third episode solo, just so I could talk to you guys and kind of slowly bring in the series without you guys being bombarded with a bunch of new people and, uh, new stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this, uh, server, and the people are so, like, nice and cool, and, uh, the mods are great. Advent of Ascension is, like, amazing. Like, I can't believe I've never played it before. Um, so there's definitely going to be a lot of videos coming out on this server, um, and, uh, streams are going to be coming out, because there's just so much to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, so look forward, look forward to that. And if you don't like this series, I don't know, I don't know why. But that's fine, uh, you know, you know, just continue watching the other series, but this is going to be around for a while, and I'm going to do a lot of stuff with this. So, if for whatever reason you don't like it, tell me why, um, and then, I don't know, we can try and figure something out. Because this is a series that I, I can see myself lasting for ages, especially because it's going to be reset all the time. It's never going to get stale, if that makes sense. It's going to, it's just going to stay being awesome, which is, is cool. Very cool. Alright, let's put all that away. And let's use some of these essences so we can um, get some levels going. Alright, let's get a level. I think we can get level 30, which is cool. Uh, oh, we'll see, we'll see. Alright, here we go, here we go. Okay, 29. Yeah, we'll get a level 30 easy. I mean, all the other essences, we have a whole stack of them. Even though they don't give us much experience, we have a whole stack. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, what? what? Oh, this is the good one! This is the best essence, and we have so much of it. Oh my god, look at all the levels. Look at all the levels. We're gonna get to like 32. Oh, uh, yes, I thought this was like the lowest one for some reason. All right, at level 35, we start getting ender pearls. I'm excited for that. And yes, level 32. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, I still have to do a bunch of other skills and levels and stuff, but right now I'm kind of just working on my foraging and my augury. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Uh, this is the weakest one. All right, and this isn't going to give us much, but it's still something. There's no other use for it, so we may as well just put it in. Um, it is a little bit tedious, but. You know, it's something. It gives us a little bit of experience. Um, okay, let's put this uranium ore away. Okay, let's, uh, ooh, ooh. By the way, Zul'jin gave me a sniper. Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? What are you doing? All right, there we go. Yeah, Zul'jin gave me this sniper. It's pretty cool. Um, and then this sensitive gold helm. I've kind of unequipped it because it got a little bit annoying just, like, jumping so high when I'm in the caves. Um, but it's really useful for, like, traveling on land. Uh, nothing else really cool here. Um, that's all still going. I'll collect that later. 
Um, I guess, I mean, I gotta see, uh, let's, let's bring the helmet out if we're gonna be traveling back to spawn. Um, okay, I don't know, I'll see if I can show you guys anything over here before we end the episode. But yeah, this has been a lot of me showing you guys what's been happening, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this series, so hopefully you guys do too. Um, don't forget, oh, I forgot to, you know, ask you guys for comments and code names and stuff. I wonder if I can think of a code name real quick. Um, uh... Ooh, ooh, oh, okay, I know, okay, so, uh, the sniper that I just showed you before was called the Headhunter Rifle, or something like that, so, the code word for today, I'm not gonna send it out because there's other people on the server, but, Headhunter is the code word, guys, alright, we're bringing the code word back, the code word is gonna be in this series, it's gonna be in every episode that I do solo, on any series, I think, and, until, and, and, you know, if I'm with someone else, then I won't do it, because that's a little weird, but, you know, Headhunter, comment that down below, um, if you want to be cool, everyone, everyone who comments down the code word is very, very cool, it shows that you've watched the entire episode, and, uh, and, uh, you know, what we want to do is upvote and, and like every single comment that, uh, says Headhunter in it, because, uh, you know, we gotta show our approval for, like, you know, everyone's awesomeness, so, okay, there it is, Headhunter, I'm gonna close it down now, if you didn't see the code word, you gotta rewatch the entire video, um, but, uh, yeah, so anyway, so this is, I mean, we already took a quick look at people's houses before. Non-Sanity's Hovel. Um, this is, I think this is Joe Tato's place. Over there is Drax's place. I forget whose that is, but I don't, I, yeah, I, I don't remember whose house that is. Uh, I don't think Zuljin has a house still. Um, oh, oh, I can go show you this, guys. Okay, so, anyway, you can see all the portals over here, but I want to go show you this thing. I don't know if someone's using it right now. Okay, I don't think anyone's using it, which is good, because I wanted to use it. So this is the way to, for us to get uh, the the hunter levels. So, what we do is we grab, um, uh, which one? Wait, what, wait, wait, which one? Wait, what's this one? Oh, wait, we, we don't have a thing. Wait, wait, wait. Which one do I have to attack? Uh, there's a certain, okay, Golby, Headless Hunter, Flamewalker. Flamewalker, alright, we'll grab the frame because we can attack that one and we get levels from it. So we put it in there, it'll make flame walkers spawn, hopefully, now all these tracks will push it over here, where we can just get free, free uh, hits onto it, is it a uh, spawn exact copy, oh, okay, here we go, here we go, right, we just kill it, we grab uh, the coins and stuff, I think, oh, it's not letting me grab the coins, alright, maybe I gotta stand back a little bit, make sure these guys don't kill me, alright, okay, I'm not grabbing any of the stuff here, I don't know why. Hmm, I don't know how I'm gonna grab that stuff. Oh god, they do decent damage. Alright. But what this does is, uh, it gives you the hunter, uh, skill. That goes up. So, which one's the hunter? The, the two swords on the right. Now, I have all my sound turned off, by the way. I don't know if you could tell. I have all my Minecraft sounds turned off. Um, but it normally, it'll give you sounds when you get experience and stuff and, and levels and everything. Um, I wonder if I can just, like, break the block in front of me, pick everything up, and then... <laughs> nah, I'll do it later, whatever. Um, uh, but yeah, we're going up levels pretty fast doing this. And then once we go up more levels, we can fight more things, which all, yeah, it, it's all kind of pretty awesome stuff. So this is the f my first time actually trying this, and uh, I like it. It's pretty good. You also get, you also get the little, uh, heart stones. Those, um, those will make the little heart skill in the top left. I mean, in the, in the, in the, in the top right, but the left skill, that's like a heart, that'll make that go up. Which gives you, I think, uh, there's a few different effects it has. Alright. Oh god, these things do decent damage as well, which is why it's scaring me. It's screwing me. Stop screwing me. Alright, let's, uh, let's take the thing out. Alright, kill this last one. Alright, now what I want to do is I just want to grab everything in here. Alright, then we'll put the block back. Awesome, so we got, we got, oh my god, what is this? Holy shit, this is a good ass sword. Ultra Flame, 1800 uses remaining. Uh, sets the holder and enemies on fire. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't want to be set on fire. Okay. Never mind. We have to get, you know, the, the fire prevention, um, thing before we can start using that. Um, but that's a pretty cool sword. We got also these copper coins. I don't know what they do, but we'll have to figure it out. Um, okay. I gotta put the safari net back. Nether gems. I don't know what they do either. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's how we're gonna get levels in the Hunter skill. We got up to level 5, so now we can actually fight Fishixes and Skippers. Is there any Fishixes or Skippers? No. Um, but, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, so. There we go. Um, Sulfur. We also got some Sulfur. That's pretty cool. Uh, alright, I'm just thinking. Alright, yeah, let's end the episode here. Oh, no, I don't want to Twitch stream. I'm in the middle of a recording video. What are you, what are you doing? Alright. 
so thank you guys so much for watching the uh, the second episode of the um, the what was it called the <laughs> Da Vinci Mod Pack. God damn! Um, don't forget to leave a like down below if you enjoyed the episode. I think I'm going to be asking for 100 likes per episode, which would be great. Um, don't forget to leave a comment down below with the code word and any mod suggestions, any building suggestions, anything like that. I love hearing your comments of what you'd like to see me do in the series. I love to shape my series around what you guys want. So definitely let me know. And uh, lastly, don't forget to subscribe for more Minecraft modded um, gaming and all that fun stuff. And uh, I will see you guys on the next episode of the Da Vinci Craft. No, it's not Da Vinci. Ah, it's not Da Vinci Craft. The Da Vinci uh, mod pack. Bye.